What's up, everyone? On Tears of the Reaction today, here are reacting to Numidia Lezu with the song title Filamane. Filamane. Let's go watch and see how good it is. this way because it was absolutely even better than I even thought so let's look on the music okay we have on two different beats two, two different beats so two to three different beats but I would say two different beats so one beat switch we have on two different flows so one flow switches we have just high and low and we also have pace as well fast so very very good and I really really enjoyed listening to it I also loved her voice her voice really really loved and melted my heart so if I want to give a score out of a 10 to this music I'll give a score out of a 10 and 9 out of a 10 to this music so and 9 which is a very very hard mark for a very good music but the only reason I didn't give full marks was that maybe I thought this song still could have improved by maybe adding a featuring male singer if we had a featuring male singer we also had a different tone frequency change which would have been wonderful and also add some fans from a male's voice now that is the only thing that I can say it could have improved um, there are many other ways, but probably the, the best option that I could have given you guys and advice to you guys would have been by adding a featuring male singer. The length of the song was also appropriate because we had two to three flows, and the length of the song was two to three minutes, which was just perfect with the method of one flow per minute. Now, in terms of music, though, it was also very beautiful. Why? Because we had uh, different locations, around four to five different locations. Each of the beats are decorated. We have wonderful camera angles, camera rotations, some meaningful symbolizations. We have dancers, we had good costumes, wonderful editing of black and red colors. And I really, really enjoyed this watching it. Um, I could have said, again, input it could have improved by adding a little bit more editing tools, okay? By editing tools, I mean either green screen editing, animations, or transitions. Basically, any new, updated, or futuristic, high-costing techniques that could have showed that this music video is for 2023. If you get what I mean, um, well, you might also know that this costs a lot of money, and maybe the singer didn't want to use this and spend this much money on the music video, which is fine, but for me, to give a score out of a 10, prevents me from giving full marks and I'll have to give a 9 out of a 10 again for the music video. So both the music and the music video will get a 9 out of a 10 from me. 
Comment down below your opinion about this song in the comment section down below and see you in our video. Peace.